Have you got issues with your relationship or marriage? Tell me what you were thinking when you were sleeping with my husband. That makes me look like a whore. That makes you a whore. Have you got those love my fucking questions you wanna ask? Are you a virgin? Of course not. So bring it on to Relationship Talk with Favor Sarah. Today on the program, we're going to be talking about a very exciting topic titled Relationship Codes Amongst Young Undergraduates. Relationship Codes Among Young Undergraduates. I'm not alone in the studio. I've got my very, very, very amiable guest with me, Barista Nelson Bude, a legal practitioner and a relationship expert. You're welcome. Thank you. So, it has become a trend in the universities among students where they have to they take it as a priority to get a love partner at the beginning of a new session especially at the arrival of a new set of students you know what it's called now the freshers rush <laughs> <laughs> all right so on your own opinion what do you think what do you think do you think this is okay Okay, um, nice one here. Hey, hey. um, relationship among young undergraduates. Now, okay, we all know who undergraduates are, and we all know the definition of, of relationships. Let's not go into the stems. Yeah. Undergraduate persons still in tertiary um, institutions, so yeah. to say. I you know what it means to be in a relationship. Mutual, um, it could be mutual. Yeah. It could be um, for. And some benefits, so yeah, to say, known so, to them. Known to them. <laughs> so um, I would say it's a it's a norm. It's it's like a norm, it's so a to norm, say, in really? us in our society All now, right. that um, there's usually there's usually this um, relationship thing between undergraduates, especially freshers at as, as it is. Um, I would say um, it's usually for for some it's usually beneficial to them, okay. in the sense that. Um, when they get in, when they get into a relationship during their school days, they tend to benefit even academically. Not wow. not only in the how do I put it now the social contest of yeah. it, or should I say in the love aspects yeah. or in the relationship aspects, so to say. And they usually benefit educationally. Wow. You see some ladies um, who are not too brilliant, middle class students, um, not so brilliant, they hook up with intelligent guys. Wow. I know. Uh, why, why did you mention guys? <laughs> no, start? okay. It no, it, it, guys no, it could be, it could be vice versa. It right. could be vice versa. It's not, students. yes, yeah. so yes, I it's not, gender balance very, very <laughs> wrong. It, it's not usually stream light. It All could right. be vice versa. Yeah. It could be the intelligent, um, and, and, and the or non intelligent yeah. guy hooking up with intelligent Girl. girls. So yeah. it's, it's vice versa. If we, if we must um, establish that okay. so it could usually be for some benefits you could see um, some guys they go as far as even paying the fees of a girl Wow. Yeah, wow. you just to just to get that um, relationship she going they are strengthening then um, um, they they get something in turn which is the educational aspect their yeah. books have been taken care of even see some they would do the assignments for them yeah, yeah, yeah. class assignments um, um, and they eat out and everybody tends to be jealous mm -hmm. of them so it's a norm in the society I would say the relationship thing is a norm is a norm and um, uh, it's beneficial it could be beneficial to the person giving and the person receiving both okay. ways it's usually beneficial to either party okay. yes so in the case of um, the, the, the negative or positive aspect don't forget that these students were sent to school by their parents yes. to study and yes. to become something in life. Definitely. Like someone going into school to study law like you <laughs> and someone going to um, um, the university to study medicine. And some of these courses are very sensitive. You know, okay. they are very sensitive. Yes. And the little, the slightest distraction can cause a very big harm. Now, how would you rate the way this relationship affects the students? Is it negatively? Could it be negative or positive? Yes. If, if in, in, in tackling this question, I, I want us to know something here that we all have individual differences. 
yes very very important individual differences you could see someone who who is studying should i say um uh, should i say a, a how do i put it now a, a, a good course or should i say all those technical courses yeah. like law medicine engineering or reading yeah, giving reading yes of time. exactly you yeah. see you could see some guys or ladies so to say too how i'm um, studying those courses and in this slightest thing they are distracted but there are some also they could give in their rapt attention to their studies also giving a rapt attention to social, social life, life. Yeah. so if they, they, they are some they could balance both so um, let's not take it away that oh I, I must face my studies then I should not be social it, it, it seems you are of the opinion that their social life is it's quite you know it's quite important yes as it's important as yeah as the educational it. life they should not take that away but they should know the reason why they are always in school and more okay. much chip in that they should not forget of the main reason why they are always in school but if you could balance both good and fine good and fine okay yep. talking about love <laughs> love in school yeah. come on <laughs> my parents sent me to school to study and i got there and i got swept away by <laughs> love so what do you have to say about that you know well, love well yeah Don't you think it's 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 irrelevant you know for students i i i, I wouldn't say 100 percent yes that's irrelevant i wouldn't say no on the other hand but i would say if you even look at it in most uh, in, like in my faculty for example yeah. i have my lecturer who is a male in the faculty and his wife who is also in the faculty and guess what they made both of, they met each other at the university there wow. so they got married yeah. And they are lecturing in the same faculty of law. Oh. And I'm Bruce Ali to be precise if, I'm, wow. if I should mention the name. Okay. So it, it depends. It depends. You could um, you could be there for other reasons, but let's not take away love. They say um, oh, like they say love is love. Hey, love like, like they say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, like like they say love is a um, is, is is a feeling. It's a mutual thing. But if you feel it should not disturb your studies, oh. why not give it a shot? Go ahead. <laughs> okay so now in the case of like you just chipped that in that your lecturers um you know example into it that just led me to my next question wow. like that was going to be the next question i was going to ask right. what then happens to the relationship after marriage i met you maybe in year one and uh, you are in year three mm. and you you're definitely going to graduate next year are you going to leave me what then happens to the relationship well you know? well 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 I, for some, if the relationship is so serious while they were in school, um, they could give it a try. Even after school, they could take it further. But um, I could say 90% um, of those relationships in school don't see the light of the day. Immediately, yeah. um, they, they pass the school gates. So, yeah, because they have to be away. You don't get to, yeah. the person you get to see almost every day in school, you don't get to see the person, the love team begins to die and all that. So, I could say 90% of those relationships in school don't see the light of the day. Immediately, um, the school thing is over. But um, a few, a few that are, that are, should I say, that are so mutual and cordial, they still go ahead and um, get married even after school. Yep. Have you got issues with your relationship or marriage? Tell me what you were thinking when you were sleeping with my husband. That makes me look like a whore. That makes you a whore. Have you got those love mind fucking questions you want to ask? Are you a baby? Of course not. So bring it on to Relationship Talk. It's Favor of Sarah. Welcome back. So, Barrister Nelson, what's your advice for this young undergraduate? Well, my advice for the younger to graduates out there is um, that they should be focused, they should um, read their books, they should know the reason why they are in school. That is the first primary um, purpose. That is very paramount. The reason why they are in school is to study and come out um, in flying colors. Uh, if they need to mix it with a little love, let um, they should not allow it go excessive. Um, they should read their books. They should be good citizens, and um, they should come out in flying colors. 
Alright. Yeah. I'm sure you've been able to find out why I said it was a relationship <laughs> expert. <laughs> Thank you so much, You're Barista welcome. Nelson. You're welcome. So drop your comments on all of our social media platforms. So we'll come away next time for another exciting package on relationship talk. I'm Favor Usaro. Enjoy the rest of your day. Have you got issues with your relationship or marriage? Have you got those love mind-boggling questions you wanna ask? Are you a virgin? Of course not. Bring it on to Relationship Talk with Favor Sarah.